Good morning everyone. We've arrived at our first campsite in McIntosh Manor RV Park in Townsend, Georgia. However, it was all going swimmingly. It's a great word, isn't it? And then I noticed this huge puddle under the uh, rear office. Not, and we haven't had the air conditioning on because actually it's been a lovely 65 degrees. So I was walking the dogs and then noticed that actually the water was coming from this foam up here. I don't know if you can see that. It really makes me wonder. Day one, uh, I'm feeling rough again. Uh, it's one of those, it's at the end where I'm feeling rough in the morning and in the evening, but I'm okay in between. The drive here was fine. Um, but we woke up this morning to water pouring out the back of the rig. Um, it's because we took the outdoor kitchen out and I obviously did a really bad job of sealing these up and capping these. <laughs> So actually it wasn't too bad. My biggest concern was that the slide controller is just stuck in here because that was mounted on the floor here under one of the drawers. So I've just shoved it in here. So luckily I'd shoved these in upside down and in. So they were leaking straight out of the bottom, not touching the slide controller. Either way, I'm not gonna try and open that slide just in case some water did get in. So, all right, this is the middle of the night for me and I feel like crap. So. Are we good now? Yes, let's go explore this place. <laughs> Can I go back to bed for a bit okay, first? Okay, you go die, I'll explore. <laughs> I need to like brush my teeth and have a shower and stuff. All right, then we will explore. We'll yeah. be back in a moment. Cool, we're in Townsend, Georgia. I've set up the F X W fence and as you can see we have very close neighbors this time it's not a lot of space so I'm very happy that we have the easy sunshade as well however I just wanted to take a quick note because FXW also sent us these cool little foam ball things what are these for you wonder I will show you obviously when you're moving around in the rig the fence that lines up against I'll show you on this panel lines up against your rig it scratches and literally all these are for which I have to do it from the bottom up I'll show you on this example here. So you literally put these over from the bottom of your stake, slide it all the way down. There we go. And basically this ensures, I'll put it against here, when you're banging around, it doesn't actually hit and damage your rig. So it's a nice little invention to be honest, because we have had some damage from our old fence against there because it does scratch. Um, lower obviously because we had a smaller one so yeah this is a great little idea thank you FXW welcome back to Brazen Brits my name is Lawrence and I'm Natalie and today we are staying at the McIntosh Manor RV park yes now this is a very very small park but before we get into the park they have a bed and breakfast house here Airbnb it's an Airbnb now and so we're gonna get a quick tour of this so let's go do the tour of this and then I'll give you some interesting facts so someone bought it about three years ago. He's done an amazing job cleaning up the grounds and he was still renting out rooms. And so then when I came on the property, I'm like, I see bigger, you know, nice. I see just, just bigger. I don't know how else to say it. And I, I think that this home as beautiful as it is could be so much grander. Mm -hmm. It's been here for that long. Let's really enhance it and make it shine, you know? Okay, so, so, so you're not living in the house. Uh, we will be for about six months. Whilst you renovate. While I renovate. Yeah. Fun me. Nice. Can <laughs> 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 I have a look? Yep. I'm, I feel like I'm intruding in your home. You were not <laughs> intruding. You were not intruding. So. Okay, so all clean redone. It is. It is. And you know, some things for keeping, like this. the blue tile. You know, we're not going to get rid of that because yeah. it's, you know, it's kind of vintage and we don't want to get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah well, we um, so we did Route 66. And okay. some of the coolest places there had the original stuff. Like yes, the um, yeah. what was that blue swallow? Blue swallow. Motel. Yeah, like, it was like pretty grim, but it was <laughs> original. Okay, yeah. it made Which, it more unique. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was really cool. <laughs> this I'm gonna open up, and I'm gonna do like a gentleman's room with a big like 85 inch TV, and you know, just they used to call smoking rooms, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be like a, a guy's side, and then in here it will be more of a parlor, um, you know, more of a woman's touch. Wow. Was all, the furniture, was it came with it, or did you? It did come with it. 
Can we have that course? <laughs> we'll just put it in the camper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Just, right. just put it on top. Yeah. 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 Just, That's yeah. gorgeous. Just, this wouldn't suit our house. No matter what way you look at it, no. It's not going in the house or the camper. I'm like, I love it. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand some things. Uh, We're going to leave that there. It's, You're it's, welcome it's, to take, it's a bit scary, isn't it? You're I'm welcome to take this with you if you like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's not a antique, gift. though. Uh, From Macintosh Manor. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what do they call it? A, uh, a thank you for staying with us. <laughs> yes. And here's way. a trash bag. <laughs> yeah. Take this on your way out! Yes. <laughs> thank you for your time. Am I allowed this, Natalie? Oh, uh, that's funny. Yes, you can have the deer head. No, you're talking to an official hoarder here. Don't give him any other things. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Laurie, for the tour. Yes. Um, it was. Uh, we had a tour of the whole of the inside of the house. Now, at the moment, this isn't an Airbnb because she and her husband bought this a week ago. Very exciting. <laughs> so it's really cool. She has a whole bunch of plans. They're going to renovate the house. They're, they probably are still going to open it up, but they're not really sure about that. They're still running the RV park. The RV park is open. There's only about 10 spaces, but they're hoping to add a few more. They're adding a dog park. Yes. And they are, ex yeah, like I said, they're extending that way some more RV yep. spaces, but not many. So it's still going to be a nice little small park. Yeah, they want to keep it small and quaint. Um, they do have some maintenance guys to help out with things, um, but they're pretty much going to run the place themselves. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be family run, family owned, small, quaint. Uh, they're not going to have things like play areas, so sorry people with kids, um, but I mean... And there it's are fantastic. breed restrictions here, but if you call ahead and ask and speak to Laurie or her husband, um, you know, they, they can yeah. talk through any exceptions. Which we didn't realise, but... We asked her and she said it's fine. Yeah. I also, she gave me this. <laughs> so they bought the house with all of the furniture and everything in it, which is really cool stuff in there. Um, anyway, they didn't like this and she said I could have it. So. Lawrence also tried to take a cabinet home, to be fair. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It, it was would cool. not go in our house, but it was pretty cool. It was cool. expensive. Yeah. Okay, so. Well, oh, so interesting facts. Okay, That's what oh, I yeah, to go off on the top to. of so, your head. So uh, I read up. <laughs> she told me slightly different information, but what I read was this place was 90, it was opened up in something like 1901, 1905, or 1909. I can't remember. One of those. And it was a, basically it was always a travel stop for people traveling. So I'm assuming there was not a lot around here, and so people were traveling up the coast, and they needed somewhere to stop. Mm. And so so that was interesting. And then in the uh, 80s, it became a bed and breakfast an official bed and breakfast and a campsite and things like that yeah but that takes us on to something interesting so we're going to travel up the road for about what five miles yep and see the world's smallest church so because everyone was traveling along this route all the time which is why you know that manor existed for people to stay there um they also needed a place to uh pray worship so or worship so this is the world's smallest church is that what it's smallest, smallest church, smallest in, church america. in america do you know what i research it's not oh no it's not fake news that's what they say this is called the world's smallest church okay. not this is the world's smallest it's church. nothing to do with the world stop saying the world america's smallest america's yeah america's. <laughs> america is the world natalie <laughs> shut up Okay, I got some notes here because I did some research before I turned up because I thought this is fascinating. And then I'll go ahead and show you inside. So uh, this is called the Memory Park Christ Chapel. It was built in 1950. Uh, it's 10 feet by 15 feet by, I'm gonna guess, what's that? 15 feet tall. Um, it has pews for 12 people and a pulpit for a preacher. Interestingly, the person who built this, Natalie, yes. the deed, they put the deed in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. So they don't even actually own it. So does anyone own it? Well, I'm sure someone does, but no, the deed is in the name of Jesus Christ. Huh, good to know, okay. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so that's about it. The only disappointing thing was in 2015, someone was trying to steal the donations money. Oh. No. And they burnt the place down. Oh. So that's this was rebuilt in 2017. They now have cameras around as well. Well, because... So, yeah. Well, they come and pick up the donations at the end of every day and they have cameras around, so... Makes me angry. I wish I didn't end on that fact. 
But anyway, it's being rebuilt. It's all protected. The grounds are lovely. It's very cute. Yeah, it's very nice. So anyway, let's uh, let's show you around the grounds and inside just to see how small it is. It's not a big tour. I can just walk in and point the camera and you can see everything. But okay, let me give you a quick tour. Here's the 12 pews. This is the roof. That's a stained glass window. And this is the uh, the altar or the, what do they call it? Can't remember. Um, where there is a guest book that you can sign. Um, this is a window and this is a window. Sorry, this is a window, this is a window. Um, there's a light. Um, and there's obviously the American flag. All right, well, that's everything we have for the church because our camera died, but we did go and grab, grab some amazing food, which was suggested by Laurie. Um, what was it, B&J's B seafood? Yeah, B&J's, it was down in like, Darien or something. Yeah, Darien. Um, really good. It's like five miles up the road. Yes. Um, excellent, by the way, very, very good. Um, so I think we're gonna call it here. Mm -hmm. We're now um, officially on the road. We <laughs> are officially on the road. So if you become a member, we've been sharing where we are with our members. Our videos are normally a couple weeks behind. Yep. Um, so our members are aware of where we're going, when we'll be there, things like that. So if you're interested in meeting up or anything like that, then- Join um, hit the join button become a member um, is there anything else Natalie no I'm excited to see what happens next week yes and I'm excited to come back in about six months to a see year and see what done. they've done with the Macintosh Manor that's true um, yeah that's gonna be pretty cool yeah all right well thank you for watching uh, we'll put a video or a playlist up here that we think you will enjoy uh, don't forget Natalie loves it when you hit the thanks button <laughs> don't forget to hit the like and subscribe do we even need to say that anymore yeah. um, and uh, like we said if you'd like to know where we're going and see a few behind the scenes clips then you can hit the join button mm -hmm. become a member and become a member to support a couple of tits me and Natalie all right, we will see you next week.